Greetings, we back with another video. Today is October 3rd, 2024, and we're back with a new video. In this video, we're going to be reviewing the newly released McFarlane Collector's Edition Green Lantern. Now, mind you, when I when I had seen this go up on McFarlane Toy Store, it sold out fast. Everybody bought their cases because there's one thing about the army builder is there are some diehard army builders out there. I am one of them. And they got to the they they beat me to the punch and got them before I did, so I had to wait a while to get mines. But when I finally got mines, you know what I'm saying? I had ordered mines through GameStop, and I only ordered like two weeks ago, literally. It was the only reason why I ordered this through GameStop and pre-orders because my order of Dark Sides never came. They never showed up. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what happened. You know, but I ended up finding Dark Side anyway and actually going through alternate sources to get Dark Side. With those, with that pre order money that I had towards Dark Side, I actually put it towards this. And then, like two weeks later, boom, they came out. It was in the store waiting for me. And I was lucky enough to get actually not only the platinum one, but I ended up getting a second platinum one, which I'm going to, you know, keep on, keep on ice. And I also got a standard one. But I will say this the standard one to me is the best one. The reason why. Is because it comes with the fish head dude, you know what I'm saying, Tom Array. And I actually like Tom Array more than I like these guys. <laughs> you know, I ain't even going front because I recognize Tom Array from countless, countless of Green Lantern comics that have come out. When you see that fish face dude, you already know that's a Green Lantern. You already know. He's just, for some reason, there's something about him where I relate to him more than I would these two guys. But overall, it's still a good set. You know what I'm saying? If you're lucky enough to find the platinum, you got two extra members to your Green Lantern Corp. Here's the side of the box, and here's the back of the box, which is awesome because we get that classic DC logo. This right here has been missing from DC for so long. I know they had different variations and changes over the years, but I'm, I'm used to this DC logo. So when they give us that DC logo, bro, I'm, I'm happy. I'm all for it. You know what I'm saying? And you get the classic image of all of the Green Lantern Corps members, tales of the Green Lantern Corps. This is just truly amazing. You know what I mean? And I really like that they are still using the, that classic artwork on the back. You know, any other toy line that comes out with action figures, man, I'm going to tell you something. This is the way to go. This is the way to go. Give us the actual comic book cover on the back or a comic panel, and I'm all for it. But you know that this is DC just based on this artwork alone, man. Like, this artwork has aged like fine wine to me. Yeah, I know there's other artists out there, but I'm still, I'm classic at heart. I love the, the retro look. And when they put these, you know, put this image on the back, I just, I just love it. You know what I'm saying? But uh, let's crack this bad boy open and take a closer look. Okay, so outside the package, here we have Green Man, because his name is Green Man. And we have um, Arcus. And not for nothing, like I said, when you have the platinum version, there's one thing that you got to be mindful of is... I think the platinum version has the black shoulders, okay? So if you're getting the standard version, you're going to get this one. The platinum version has this one. So it, it has the black shoulders, and you can tell the difference. This is the, the standard release, and this is the platinum release. So if you, you know, that's something that you just keep in mind just in case, depending on how you want to display your Green Lanterns. But, you know, I mean, that's the type of design outfit that you're getting. But they have double jointed knees, ankle pivot, ankle rocker. Same standard. If you've had the Hal Jordan um, classic version of Hal Jordan or the classic version of John Stewart, it's pretty much the same body sculpt. The only difference is with this one is it comes with a bevy of accessories. And I really like the fact that we've gotten more constructs for the Green Lantern because while I was putting this video together, I discovered something, right? Yo, we've gotten a bag. I got a bag full of constructs from this company that I'm happy to have retained. But as far as what this particular, and I'm going to show you that in the, later on in the, in the video. But what he comes with, he comes with the Green Lantern. And it actually has the paint inside. So you know this is like truly collector's edition because the ones we've gotten before did not have this, you know, paint app inside of the lamp but the lamp came out pretty good and then we have his construct as far as him like they you know they could blast off and shoot beams 
and it comes in a fist and everything. So you can actually attach this onto the character to make it look like he's using his effects, which is perfect. I actually like this. This is actually a new one for um, the McFarlane Toys team. They never put nothing like in this before, so hopefully we will see a um, another character use this same type of power effect eventually. He also comes with some splayed open palm hands so he had and what's cool about this is the detail they actually made sure that they put the ring on the right hand and then no ring on the left hand so you have matching pairs of hands with the ring awesome also you get another fist which it won't have a ring because the right hand does already and then you also get a little construct of the guardian now I don't know if people can see this, but yeah, that's a guardian that they're talking to. So when you see this little effect right here inside of the box, this is they're talking to the guardians, which is awesome. So he can actually pretend like if you put this, oops, if you put this on his hand, you can have him pretending like, oh yeah, he's he's getting his next mission. You know what I'm saying? He's getting his next mission from his superiors to find out what to do. You know what I mean? So he can look up at it as so and say, okay, what do you need me to do? Oh, well, you need me to go to Earth? You know what I'm saying? You need me to go fight some bad guys? There's a yellow lantern attack? A red lantern attack? Oh, yeah, we on it. So I really like the fact that they put that into that. Whoever thought this idea from the McFarlane team, I got to give shout outs to you. Because this is, this is attention to detail. This is fan. This is a fan that made this. I can already see it. This ain't just a regular uh, Joe worker. Nah, that, that was a fan that actually thought that up. And I got to give you, sir or miss... Your props for actually including this piece. Of all of the accessories that we got over here, this is my favorite accessory of all of them. We also get a shield. So you get a Green Lantern shield. And it's translucent. And it looks really impressive. And this is actually a stronger, it feels like a stronger um, peg that's on here. I've had Captain America shields break on me before. But this one is durable. I guess Todd is using a good... Um, good a good plastic good plastic this ain't that chintzy one that as soon as you snap on it breaks off because believe me i've had multiple captain americas from the hasbro mcfarlane i mean marvel legends team where that piece breaks man and i'm glad that this is more durable and more strong to where it actually can just clip on there perfect but overall this yeah if you when you get this set your green lanterns core members are pretty much suited up to battle you know what i'm saying they are suited up ready to go to war and i like the fact that we actually you know what i'm saying are getting all of these more constructs because i have a bag full of constructs that we've gotten over the years from the mcfarland toys and i'm gonna tell you something it's a lot we got a lot and i will run through all of them to show you how much we've got but here's the other head scopes that you get if you get the standard edition and like i said i don't have a problem with the standard edition the standard edition to me is my favorite one because it has Tom Ray and Tom Ray is one of my second favorite Green Lanterns. It's just his face and everything. He's just been in class. He's been in the Green Lantern comics for quite a long time, and I'm happy to have him on my shelf. And you get Abin Sur, you know what I'm saying? But the head sculpts on these guys came out fantastic. Love the attention to detail. Like if you was to think that you know to buy a custom one of these head sculpts, you're gonna spend like twenty five dollars, right? But to have it in a box already, ready to buy. The collector's edition is worth the $30. That's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? The amount of detail and attention they put in these head scopes, yeah, you're getting your money's worth, y'all. Yo. You're getting your money's worth, especially with all the accessories. Now, just to give you a rundown on accessories, right? We've gotten a lot of constructs over the years. We have gotten multiple constructs coming from this McFarlane team. And these are just three right here. Aside from the fist and everything, Aside from the other hand that I like with the um, Guardian in it, these are constructs, right? And I was going to buy the classic, I think Mattel made it. It was an old school pack that had John Stewart with a bunch of accessories. But then I started to look in my bag of accessories, bro. And when you look at how many constructs we have gotten, you know what I'm saying? I'm actually impressed that we have gotten this many. We're getting spoiled with constructs, you know? Like, normally other companies would just give us less constructs, but I gotta say, when you really, if you've been collecting this line for quite a long time, yo, just look at the amount of constructs you got in your collection. And mind you, every lantern that I put up here, 
is a different lantern for a different um, guardian. And it's awesome to see when you really just pay attention to it, you say, yo, wait a minute. This ain't the same used car um, lantern. We have gotten multiple different lanterns by now. And I actually like that. But when I sat here and looked at my bag of accessories as far as like, you know, constructs from what the McFarlane team has given us, I say, yo, this is, this is truly impressive. This, you know, like we are in a, I gotta say, if you're a DC collector fan, we eating good right now. <laughs> Not for nothing. We are eating good because the amount of constructs that have already come out. And I and these are just green lanterns. You know what I'm saying? I have the red the, the yellow lanterns too that we've gotten. And we're getting another one. I think coming out with the um Sinestro, the Sinestro um target exclusive one. But yeah, all of these constructs. And here's the cool thing: all of the lanterns are different. It, you know, I was about to pull out. You know what I'm saying? And say that that lantern was the same, but it's not the same. These are all different lanterns. As you can see here, this is a different lantern. This lantern goes to um, Kilowog's, but this is Kilowog's own personal lantern. Then you got the one that just came out just now, right? And then you got this one. This one came with um, Kyle Renner, but this is... Yo, they really they really care. There's a Green Lantern fan for, that, that works for these... <laughs> for works for uh, McFarlane Toys, and yo... They really care. But if you look at all of the accessories, bro, you have no problem. If you was to get this collector's edition, I'm going to tell you something. You have no problem jazzing them all up with all of these accessories right here. Now, as far as size comparison, here he is standing next to the McFarlane Toys Hush Superman. And here he is standing next to the previous collector's edition of Sinestro. And here he is standing next to the Marvel Legends... I'm drawing a blank. Give me a second. <laughs> um, Beta Ray Bill. Here he is standing next to the newly released NECA Splinter from the Ronin Wave series. Here he is standing next to the Motu Classics Prince Adam. Here he is standing next to the newly released Dark Side Mega Fig from the Fallen Toy, Sto Toy, Toy Series. Here he is standing next to the two-pack Kilowog from the Green Lantern two-pack wave. And here he is standing next to AEW Sting. And that wraps up my overall review of the newly released McFarlane Toys Green Lantern Collector's Edition. Rate, comment, subscribe, tell me what you think. And like I said before, yo, like, if we was to, like, the reason why this set is so perfect to me, right, is because it's good for customizers. If you even want to, like, you know, search out and find, like, custom head sculpt makers to actually build out your Green Lantern Corps team, you can. But, you know, for the ones that doesn't, that don't customize, and we got the head packings that came with the figure, I think it's perfect for us. It's perfect for toy collecting in general. This go, will probably go down as one of my favorite, best collector's edition action figures that have come out this year. And the year is almost over. And I know a lot of people are going to put their, you know, top 10s or top 20s together. But I this is a definitely a strong contender in my top 10 because of the simple fact of the versatility as far as swapping heads out, putting new heads on, customizers. You know what I'm saying? Overall, it's a joy to see this particular character and this particular way he comes out. Because like I said, these head sculpts cost a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? And if you're buying a custom head sculpt, you're going to be spending about the same amount of money as you would buying an action figure anyway. So overall, perfect, perfect action figure, perfect collector's edition. And like I said, you don't, don't try to <laughs> break the bank as far as hunting down that platinum version because I'm telling you, it's going to show up in stores. It's going to show up. Just keep hunting, keep collecting, and I'll catch you guys in another video. Peace.